Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and I'm a horse. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to Full Craft. What better way for us to look than like a big dumb horse? Anyways, guys. All right, so uh, worked on some of the cow stuff. These are all non ingot cows, and there's a couple over here I kind of have an issue with, but I want to kind of do a different setup. I like. I don't have a problem with this. I'm just not as big of a fan of it as I think I could be. Let's just fill that one up. Um, and and there's it, nothing wrong with it. It has to do with just the way that we're dealing with the cows right now. I'm trying to decide. All right, let, let, let's do some, some stuff here real quick. I need to figure out. There's a couple of these. I need to get... All right, so the emerald one, I think I have two emerald ones. The I don't have an emerald cast. I haven't found any emerald cast. I really don't want it to be in the, the pseudo mix, per se. I believe this is another one. I know I had two of them. And then for some reason, I can't pour zinc. I guess it's just not part of the Tinker's Construct stuff. It'll go in there. There is molten zinc, but it won't let me... Poor ingots of it. That's what the sand is for, by the way. Um, so I gotta figure out which one is zinc. I think it might be this guy. No, that's electrical steel. All right, I probably should have done this before we started, but whatever. Um, but I, I, I want to set up some early, very kind of lightweight um, automation. Maybe this guy is zinc. Zinc. There we go. That's who I wanted. All right, so these guys we're going to have to figure out a little bit differently. And we're going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, damn it. I knew that was going to happen. I've done that way too many times. I've lost too many cows. Too many cows. I actually lost, I think, my lava cow to that. Yeah, cow tipper. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a jerk. I know. Okay. Well, you guys just saw me murder the zinc cow. So that's the thing. All right, so the rest of these guys should be good. So what I want to do is we're going to do some very, very early, low-level um, auto farming of these guys, okay? So what we want to make, we're going to get into progressive automation. So if we get ourselves a, let's see... Crafter, animal farmer. Uses to breed animals, uses upgrades for shearing and milking. Place on the same level as animals. So I'm thinking we're going to make an iron one of these, which is this guy here. So to do that, we got to kind of go back. So we're going to need uh, shears, raw wood, a furnace, and a chest. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Let's get some of this. So six of those. Uh, we're going to need... Let's grab two more to make a chest real quick all right zombies are out there and it's scary all right there's that there's our chest and then we're going to need a furnace grab one too many and let's grab a couple pieces of iron here real quick and we're going to make i we could go up to a diamond one but i'm going to hold off on that um, I mean, I guess our diamonds, how, how are our diamonds? See, we have 13 diamonds, which we could probably make it. The only problem we run into is, um, we don't really have enough diamonds to make the upgrades I'm going to need. So we're going to, we're just going to start with an iron one. All right. So next thing we got to go to, we need another shear, another shears, and then we need, what is that? Six, seven, eight, uh, wait, three, four, five, six, seven stone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna need, and we're gonna need a couple more pairs of shears. Let's just grab a stack of this because we're gonna need it anyways. Maybe we can just hammer this out real quick. So let's first off make a couple pairs of shears. I hear you, Enderman. And let's go ahead and make a block of iron because I know we're gonna need that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and pop back here. We'll make this one. And then we're going to make this one. All right, so we're up to iron level, okay? <coughs> and let's grab, do I have many more fences? I do, okay. It's doing that double-click thing. I hate when it does that in packs. 
All right, and it's raining. Good, good. Still haven't put a roof on here. We'll work on it. All right, so let's start off by doing this. And this is how we're going to do this. So let's take that out. Let's go ahead and take this one out. And then we're going to make an area here. Go ahead and grab this. We can use this. All right. So we're going to make an area here. I'm thinking just kind of here in the middle. Like so. All right. And then if we look in here, we can see... You can see this is a spot right here, and I think we have to put something there. I don't know why this isn't kind of showing me what it is. I think it's a bucket. Um, like rabbits, ab tools. Okay. And this is going to run off of coal. So let's go ahead and build up an area around here. And we're not going to make it too big. I think we're going to go out just about two uh, in each direction. So one, two here. Okay. Do the same thing here. One, two, and on the third, we'll go ahead and pop this off real quick and throw in our gate. Okay. And then here, here, and then one, two, three. Get rid of this and come around and finish this off. Okay. So there we go. We got that. Uh, let's go ahead and probably put a torch back over here. Let's go ahead and we'll put a torch like over here so that we can get rid of this one. All right. So now we have this. And then, like I said, I think if I remember correctly, it's a bucket to upgrade it. And then I think it's like shears if you want to use it for collecting like auto doing wool. So if we do this. All right. There's our bucket. Good. Good. Okay. And we're just going to pop this bad boy in that slot that isn't really there. And hopefully it should switch it over. Let's go and eat some chicken. I don't have a hard to eat, you know, beef up here. It just seems cruel and unusual. All right. And I think if we stick this, how do we, okay. Huh. Okay. Now I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's an upgrade. Make killer, kill animals only. I think it's an upgrade, right? Let's look up upgrade. Lots of upgrades. Okay, so we have mob filter. We have auto filter. We'll make killer. Okay, not for killers. Uh, player upgrade. Okay, animal filter. We'll make... No, that's not it either. What's the range of machine times? Four... I'm a, kind of a little bit of a brain fart here. I'm trying to remember how we do this. Mm -mm -mm. All set, ready to pop in here and do this. Okay, let's see. Let's just kind of go through them. So we got this. We'll make a killer to kill enemy mobs only. Okay. Uh, we'll make the miner fill any air and fluid blocks while mining. Okay. Uh, stone upgrade. Cobble gen upgrade. Player will make the killer to kill players only. That seems like a bad idea. There we go. Allows a farmer to milk animals into buckets. Milker upgrade. Okay. So we're going to need two buckets of milk, redstone, and stone. The sad part is, is I think... Did I get rid of my milk cow? Let's go get rid of this stuff real quick. Uh, like, it's funny. I, and I, a lot of you guys are like, wouldn't a milk cow just be a uh, cow? Wouldn't that be, like, just cow? You would think. But they're super milk cows. All right, so let's do this. Yep, that's milk. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a second on that. Let's go gather the rest of the resources for this. <laughs> and for right now, this is going to be a little primitive because we're going to be running it off of coal. We've actually got a pretty decent amount of coal uh, because we obviously don't have any power going yet. So, all right, redstone. We're going to need uh, nine of these. And how's our stone looking? Oh, we're doing great on stone. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and at least start this process. So we're going to go like so. And then it's going to be that, and then it's going to be this, and this, and then all we need 
is one more bucket of milk. Then we should be able to make the upgrade. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to automate, automate milky these cows. These ones right here. And I guess we'll, I guess we'll just put them into this thing. That's, that's fine. I was, like I said, I was a little, uh, the problem was, is I kept running out of the amount of stuff I had. The, the, like, cause it, you know, when it milks them, it doesn't milk like exactly like four ingots or anything like that. It milks it to where there's, you know, nuggets and stuff left, and it becomes a whole issue. Now, I could do it in a nugget form. Just popping out real quick, just to see if there's randomly just a, a random, normal vanilla cow anywhere. I mean, just because I'm impatient, I don't feel like waiting. Oh, hello, new friend. You are not, you are not part of my kingdom, so you can go away. All right, I need to make a door for that, by the way. One, you know, let's look that up real quick. I just want to see something real quick. Uh, door. Not gore. Door. Do I have, like, what is that? High-tech door. Um, garage door. That might be kind of cool. What is this? Camo fence gate. Interesting. Some interesting stuff in here. Door one left, door one right. Okay, that's weird. We could put saloon doors. That's kind of funny. Uh, medieval door. Well, I can't click on it. Well, that sucks, butts. Uh, different doors. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I'll do it in between. Because I want it to kind of fit with the castle theme, even though we are going to get into a point where we are... <coughs> we will be doing power and tech and all that stuff in here because it's in the pack, you know? We're going to have a refined storage system going on and whatnot. All right, milk. Come on. That's the only thing I don't like is how long it, the cooldown on these cows are. Um, I don't have another milk cow. All right, while we, wait on, while we were waiting on that, let's go ahead and look at this. So, um, at progressive. So, nope. So what we want to make also is we want to make some iron upgrades. I don't know why I'm going to diamond first, but it's pretty much this. Okay. So what the, the way this thing works, for any of you guys that might not be super familiar with this mod, is basically this thing, as of right now, has a range of one. Now, it, now normally in Minecraft kind of tech stuff, one means like a ring of one around it. But this one doesn't. This literally means, I believe it's this block. It's like one of the corner blocks. So as it is right now, this thing will only milk a cow standing in this block. That's it. So what we need to do is every time we add an upgrade, it adds one more block. So if we go, if it goes to a range of two, it's one and two, three. So we need to basically add, I believe, eight, seven or eight to get this one ring. Okay. And then we're going to need, let's see, let's say it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we're going to need 24 or so upgrades to be able to milk within all blocks within this fence. And let's actually do this real quick also while we're here. Let's break these blocks out because I want to know where this thing is. All right, let's do that, and that, and that. Okay. All right, so now we know where that thing is. Okay, let's see. Can we get our other thing of milk? Are you ready, buddy? There we go. Thanks, pal. All right, and we might set up a second one of these, um, which I can, of course, do off camera if need be, but I'm thinking about setting up a second one of these for... Um, making uh for the non ingot cows the non molten ingot cows so all right so we got the milker upgrade because right now this thing is a breeder you put wheat in here you give it power and it's gonna make babies so by putting this in here there we go now it adds that bucket slot we had a bucket there good good okay so let's go ahead and see how much time do we have ah, we're good we're going to go start cranking out some of these upgrades as best we can. I've been trying to get what I can iron-wise. This is the stuff you guys saw in the original one. Let's grab these. 
and then let's go ahead and see see here's the iron one so we have to kind of backtrack so we're gonna need the wooden one so we're gonna need whew, that's a lot of raw wood and redstone but we're okay let's go ahead oh we got plenty of raw wood all right let's do that and let's go ahead and grab ourselves let's go 25 we'll start with 25 and see how close we can get with that because um, once we get this going our iron should start kind of pouring in for lack of a better term okay so uh we can do 24 you know what that's probably fine and then for this one we're gonna just need a bunch of stone Ooh, we, that we might be a problem with let's see how far we can get with this um all right and stone Ooh, 10. it's not nearly what i wanted all right let's get this out of here let's throw this in here all right so let's go ahead and grab ourselves oh let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of these we'll get like 16 or 17 whatever make these into nuggets and then we're going to fill both of these guys up like so all right cool and then let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple stacks of this there's that there's that we'll get that cooking up let's go ahead and leave these in here so we're just waiting on waiting on some stone okay there's one so that gives us another one of those all right while we're waiting on that let's go ahead and convert these into the iron upgrades like that okay so we're just waiting on that and then um oh god that took a lot of iron we may only want to do well you know what let's just start with this handful of them because we're going to need more iron and i have some ideas for that as well okay um, actually, no, there's something else I want to make so we can kind of see this. Now, I can make that area smaller and just shove the cows in there. That works out just fine. All right, there is this wrench, the PA wrench. So it's just ironing it in a few sticks. One, two, three. And this is definitely going to help us right now. So like this, yeah. Then an iron ingot. Then we got ourselves the PA wrench. All right, so um, this is the wrench from Progressive Automation actually made for it. And it does a couple things. Obviously, it lets you do stuff. So you can kind of see now that there's this magical little blue box. That's showing that range. So now if we come over here and we drop these in, now we have a range of 11. And you can kind of see where it's going. So it's doing this whole inner circle plus a couple of these blocks. So let's go ahead and let's... Uh, Let's see if we can get this kind of started. So we made fluid conduits. I have a feeling we're going to need a couple more. Where did I put those? Right here. So we got eight. Uh, how did we make these? It's quite clear glass, which you get from chisel. Okay. Uh, do I have more conduit binder? I, have, I do. I do have plenty more conduit binder. All right, let's make some more of these. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to run, and now you guys will also see why I made this double thick on a lot of this stuff. We're going to run this like so. And then we're going to run this straight over this way. And we're going to connect right into there. So obviously we're going to need a lot more than eight. So we're going to do that. Does that not connect down there? No. I know these things connect. Hold on. Was it because I was shifting? Was it that? Is that why? Maybe it was because I was shifting. Let's see. That is not connecting there. Well, that is super duper annoying. I know these things hook up. I've seen people do it. Um, okay, alright, so we're going to do have to do this a little bit differently. Alright, this is going to push us into the next episode that I wasn't planning. Okay, um... Let me figure this out real quick. Let's go see how many more of these upgrades we can make. Yeah, I think we're going to have to 
figure this out in this next episode. And I know a lot of you guys are going to give me some super great tips down in the comments section. Uh, I'll be dead honest with you. I'm going to record the next episode right after this one. So I'm really not going to get a chance to kind of see it. So, all right, what do we need to do? I'll give you a little hint because we're actually at the end of this episode. Uh, let's look up tank. Okay. And then we want one of these fluid tanks. So that's actually not too bad. We can probably make that real quick. Give me that. Or we are pretty low on iron. You guys can see why I definitely didn't want to do this um, with diamonds, because we would be even more out of luck. All right, so let's take that. Let's bring this over here. Do I have any more food on me? I, yeah, I do. All right, let's eat that up. All right, we're going to set this here, and then um, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to mess with it, and then we're going to deal with it in the next episode. So this, let's just go up like this and do pull. Okay. Pull push. Yeah, so we should be able to pull out the bucket when needed. And then now we should have no problem doing this over to this thing. Obviously, we're going to have to make some more. We'll do that in the next episode. We have all the parts for it. It's not a big deal. All right, so extract without a signal. And that should pump this stuff directly into here once we get it all set up. All right, guys. Well, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna finish things up here. We're gonna come right back into this. I don't think I have any iron in here. We may have to go looking for a little iron, because I would like to get all of these upgrades completely done, um, and have this set up by next episode. So we may have to go on a little bit of a uh, a little diamond hunt, which won't be that big of a deal. We'll be fine. All right. So we need to get enough for six more. So I'm gonna let this sit. I'm going to let this, this stone cook out, and then, like I said, next episode, we're going to get this squared away, and we're going to get auto-milking taken care of. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. And if you want to get your own Minecraft server, head over to aim to game using the link down below so they know you're coming for one of our videos. Use the coupon code to save yourself some money. And until the next episode, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.